guys welcome back to some more Yu-Gi-Oh and today I want to present you guys my water dragon deck my ocean dragon lord deck and it's based around um, Levi dragon Daedalus and it's upgrade ocean dragon lord Neo Daedalus which <laughs> I did not manage to summon on the field once because my because of my luck in the cards but nonetheless i did win a bunch of duels i um i did have some success of course it's not again it's not a perfect deck there is no such thing as a perfect deck you, there always be there will always be some counters and because Yu-Gi-Oh is such a luck based game depending on what cards you have and your first hand unless you have like multiple copies of just two or three cards in your entire deck and um, you're pretty much relying on a bit of luck to succeed in these duels but nonetheless this is a fun little deck it's uh one of the better water decks uh that i can come up with personally i'm pretty sure there are um other better ones but this is personally my version of the best one i've had so far so let me talk you guys through the deck so, based, so like i said it's revolved around the levi dragon daedalus which if you send umi that's face up on the field you can destroy all other cards on the field now if you happen to successfully have an ocean dragon or neo daedalus in your hand once you summon the levi dragon you can special summon this card and if you discard umi from your field it not only does it destroy every monster on the field every card on the field but it also has uh sends all cards in both players hands and on the on the field to the graveyard so if you manage to summon this card pretty much you leave your opponent defenseless you leave yourself defenseless of course but uh you, you'll still be having a monster on the field which that has 2900 uh, attack points so it's a pretty sweet combination it's definitely not easy to pull off you need um a, you need some luck you need uh yeah pretty much you need some luck to pull this off most often you will be able to summon the Levi dragon and i did several times i did discard uh umi or one of its other counterparts like lemuria the forgotten city which discards them is treated as umi uh a legendary ocean which again is treated as umi i did manage to discard them and uh, i did manage to get its effect off and I didn't actually win the duel because of that but it has gotten me closer to winning a duel here and there so it's a pretty sweet effect but it's uh you don't have to rely strictly on levi dragon that's the beauty of this deck all the other cards are pretty capable and pretty potent on delivering a victory uh even without this card whereas for example you have the abyss soldier which once per turn you can discard one water monster to the grave and return one card to the hand this is a pretty sweet effect uh you have the nightmare penguin which on flipped you can target one card your opponent controls and return the card to the hand and also gives 200 attack to uh, every water monster that you have on the field along with umi that's a bonus of 400 more attack points to each water monster you have uh i have warrior of atlantis which can help uh, me get a legendary ocean to my hand once i discard it because a legendary ocean is a lot better than umi for the reason that it reduces the level of all water monsters in both players hands and on the field by one which means uh it reduces the level of levi dragon from seven to six meaning it will only require just one tribute in order to get on the field and since you already have a legendary ocean on the field and it's treated as umi then you can get the ball rolling so that's why it's on a, a better card than umi in some cases uh with the exception to the fact that when uh i don't have levi dragon in my hand but i do have cards to synchro summon then of course a legendary ocean is not that good because it reduces the level the level of my monster so it makes it a lot harder to synchro summon but since i have the skill mythic mythic depths i will always have umi on the field so legendary ocean is a choice use or not some other cards um i have deep sea diva which when you normal summon it you can special summon a level three or or a sea serpent monster from your deck i choose to play it with spine gilman because it had it gives another 400 attack to uh, every one of my water monsters is a nice combo so when i get when i can summon this card 
um, I can also special summon another card and then I have two cards on the field but I can synchro summon them into um, either a Samsara Dragon of Rebirth or if I can manage to get another card on the field get maybe synchro summon white or a dolphin and have spine Gilman as backup so it's uh, quite versatile versatile in that effect I also have a hammer shark which if you watch um, Yu-Gi-Oh XEs you can you know that shark uses this uh, this card and it's pretty cool because once per turn I can reduce its level and I can special summon another level 3 or lower water monster from my hand again making it so I have two cards and if it's this one because it's the other tuner monster card that I have then it's perfect because Three, two level trees and I can summon my white aura dolphin which uh, since I'm here is my backup to this deck because white aura dolphin guys let me just tell you is one of the better synchro monsters that you can get um, in this game it's a level 6 uh, fish synchro monster you can summon it uh, with one tuner and one non-tuner monster it doesn't have to be water monster so you can get it on the field just like that but it's a lot better if you use it in a water strict deck and why because not only does once per turn you can target one face up monster your opponent controls its attack becomes half its original attack so it's pretty awesome at defeating the big uh the big beater monsters that the 3000 the 4000 attack monsters because you can reduce their attack to half and a white aura dolphin will have the better the greater attack damage also because since you're gonna have umi on the field it's gonna have 2600 attack but when this card is uh, is destroyed by an opponent's card either battle or card effect and sent to your graveyard you can banish one other water monster and from your graveyard and special summon this card and if you do it is treated as a tuner monster the tuner monster part is not that important but the fact that you can keep recycling this card all all over again and back to your field every single time it's destroyed and uh just to let you guys know it's bugged because it's not just once per turn i had a duel and i think i actually recorded that duel where i actually in that turn had my monster had my had my white aura dolphin got destroyed twice and i managed to summon it back to the field twice in that turn so basically i had it three times on my field and two times in my graveyard in that single turn alone so it is just one of the best one of the best synchro monsters you can have in this game right now so it's literally my backup card to winning duels and i won two of my duels i won i i've won strictly because i've used white aura dolphin it's just that amazing um so yeah moving on i have an aqua spirit this uh is a bit tricky to use because if you get it in your hand at the start uh, you cannot uh, summon it nor special summon it you have to have a water monster in your graveyard in order to special summon it but it's cool because if you use the effect of a warrior of atlantis to send it to the graveyard then to get a legendary ocean then you have uh, a monster in your graveyard on the first turn so you can special summon this card but it's pretty cool because uh i use it by, by the fact that you can special summon it and not normal summon so if i have if i have this combo going so for example if i have in my starting uh, hand or uh, in the later parts of the duel if i have aqua spirit in my hand if i have warrior Atl of atlantis in my hand and if i have levi dragon daedalus then I can get the combo going. How? I activate Warrior of Atlantis, discard it to the graveyard, get a legendary ocean. I special summon Aqua Spirit because of I have because I have Warrior of Atlantis in my graveyard. To summon it on the field, I activate Legendary Ocean, and with Legendary Ocean's effect, because it decreases my level uh, of my monsters by one, I can then normal use my normal summon to summon Levi Dragon Daedalus on the field, activate its effect to discard a Legendary Ocean, destroy everything on the field, and wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, I won the duel. It's a pretty sweet combo, so yeah, it's definitely why I use this card. And I also have a Mother Grizzly, because... If uh, I don't have anything to put on my field in order to stall, I can put Mother Grizzly on my field and when it gets destroyed, I can special summon a water monster with 1,500 or less attack from your from uh, my deck and face up attack position. 
it sucks that it's face up attack position but at the very least this does give me a bit of stall time so i can summon either nightmare penguin or spine gilman gilman yeah to uh to my field or uh water diva it's in my deck so yeah it uh, helps with with uh with stalling um that's it for the, that's it for the monster cards spell cards i have the peril twister because it works well because i already have um umi on my field so in case i can manage to pull uh, an otk by summoning two monsters or three monsters and i need to get rid of one tricky card then i can actually get rid of umi with parallel twister and destroy one card on my uh, opponent's side of the field so it's pretty good i use water hazard because it allows me to special summon one level four or lower water monster from my hand if i don't control any other monsters so it's a good first turn or second turn card uh i have different dimension capsule for when i want to get Leviathan dragon from my deck to my hand i have to wait two turns but that's cool and i also have a couple of trap cards i have three monster traps uh one to help me synchro summon with shape shape sister and also to provide another monster on the field so i can tribute for Leviathan. and two more monsters that i can use to tribute for Leviathan dragon i have floodgate because it's uh one of the best uh, trap cards to have in pvp and i also have miracles wake in order to bring back a monster a monster that was destroyed this turn so, um, that's it for the main deck extra deck i have a couple of other synchros here that i can use i have samsara dragon because it's a good card it has 2600 defense and once it's destroyed i can special summon another monster from either player's graveyard so it works kind of like a monster reborn in that case but it definitely helps me stall a bit more i have two white aura dolphins because again it's that good i also have a gunjir a dragon of the ice bear because it's also a good card in the sense that uh you need a tuner and one more non-tuner water monsters and once per turn you can once per turn you can discard up to two cards to the graveyard to target the same number of cards your opponent controls and destroy them so yeah this is another pretty pretty good uh synchro monster to have and also have a start of spark dragon and a Kriston quarion gandrax for whatever reason in case i for whatever reason managed to have the levels required to some of these cards and yeah so this is the deck guys this is the deck and i'm pretty excited about this deck because in my opinion this is a really good deck of course uh you can modify it for your own needs you can make it better uh you can replace the traps replace some of the spell cards maybe use a different type of water monsters if you feel like those are a lot better to use but considering the cards that i have right now currently uh this is the best version that i've found up found and works so far for me so nonetheless i have uh some duels to show you guys an, as an example as per usual so i hope you guys enjoy peace Walls are disappearing, and I don't seem to care. And gets larger and larger, and there's color everywhere. My bodies are lighter than ever, I'm floating off the ground. There's noises from the windows, but I can't hear a sound. And all of my limitations begin to fade away. In this place, I have freedom. It's here I wish to stay. Thoughts become distant feelings. I'm going with the flow. I'll just sit still now and begin by letting go.